Alright, so I lied. Last video, I said that the next video, aka this video, was gonna be us at the track day. But I really wanted to do one last thing before we hit the track again. If you saw in last video, or wait, not last video, two videos ago, three videos ago, because we did the tires and the brakes this week. Oh my gosh, there's been so many videos this week. It's been so hard cramming. Today's only Thursday and we've already done two videos since our last track day, which is on Sunday. Crazy. Anyways, if you watched the last track video, you would have seen that I was absolutely struggling to rev match downshift. That's because the brake pedal is so close to me and the throttle is so far away that I was having a hard time rolling my ankle enough to blip the throttle to downshift. But today, we're gonna fix that. I got the Renline throttle adjuster plate, which basically brings the throttle towards me, so it'll be in line with my brake, so I can properly rev match downshift, and it'll be super helpful on the track, so hopefully I can actually downshift on the track. So let's hope that this is a quick install compared to my brakes, and let's get into it. All right, here it is. It's from Pelican Park, who I think owns Renline, or they're a distributor, I don't really know, but here we go. Oh, this knife sucks. Okay, anyways. Oh wow, they sent me a little sticker, how cute. Okay, as I'm opening the box here, I just remembered what happened. I went to go buy this little adjuster plate to bring the throttle closer so I could actually like heel toe with downshift. But then I realized that the pedals were looking super bland and boring. So I went to get the little throttle extensions and then I went to go get the entire freaking pedal kit that Renline sells. So I was looking to, to spend maybe 45 bucks and then all in it came out to 450 bucks after customs, taxes, and shipping. So you know how it'd be. You try to not spend so much and keep it budget. And then next thing you know, you're spending way too much money, but that's the way that cars are. At least it'll make the car look nice. Er not even that'll make the car look nice because no one else is going to see it except for me. But it's okay because I know deep down in my heart that I'm spending the money to make my car look nice and clean. Okay, let's start with the adjuster plate because that's what I actually wanted to get. If I can find a knife to open this. Okay, and that's it. Just a small little piece. And then there's some like hardware and stuff that goes along with it as well. Okay, so here we go. Here's our throttle pedal module that I ripped out of the car. You just press down on the white tab and it releases pretty easily. Um, next, we're gonna take the drill and we're gonna drill the holes so that this will slot in and be flush. So I sort of mark the holes by punching a screwdriver into it. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing. I think I'm just gonna full send with the drill. Wish me luck. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. Damn, the bit's walking all over the place. Okay, bigger drill bit, wish me luck. Oh my god, it looks so fast. Let's see if this fits. It's still too small. Nope, it's still 
too small. Okay, there we go. Finally made the hole big enough that this thing will freaking fit in. Now I gotta do it two more times for the bottom pieces there. Okay, that took way too long to drill in these freaking holes and it still won't even fit freaking flush. I'm just gonna send it with the self tapper, see what happens. After all that, we finally put the plate onto the old gas pedal. Damn, that was so much effort. And here's the new gas pedal cover. Damn, can we take in how thick this piece of metal is? That's crazy. Quality. All right, so now we're just attaching the throttle pedal cover to the throttle extension pieces, which is actually pretty cool. Okay, those were sort of actually a pain to put in, but look at that. That's looking pretty nice. Now let me just tie down the main plate. All right, so now that's done, we can go ahead and slap it onto this adjuster plate here. Something like that. And so that's what the finished part looks like. We got the adjuster plate, we got the extension on the side, and then we got the main pedal cover here. Awesome, let's go throw it on the car. Excuse my messy carpets, but bam, there it is in place. All right, now let's move on to the other ones. All right, please excuse the mess I made with all the shavings of plastic from the gas pump and drilling into it. But next up, we have the brake and clutch pedal. So without making a mess again, let's try to open this up. Damn, and just like the gas pedal, these are some really hefty boys. I'm actually really impressed at how weighty they are and how thick they are. Very impressive quality. Okay, next step is I think you can actually remove these rubber pieces. So let me try that real quick. What the hell? Oh wow, that was actually pretty easy. But damn, look how disgusting these pieces of rubber are. Oops, didn't mean to throw it on my seat. That I just cleaned, and now it's dirty again. Oh damn it. Anyways. Whoa, what the hell? That's an interesting looking piece. And just like that, we're left with bare plastic pieces that we can drill in to mount the new metal ones. Okay, so we're gonna start with the clutch pedal first. I popped out the two little feet up here and the two little feet down here because that's where the screws are gonna go through. And so I was gonna place it like that. And then I was gonna take a marker or some liquid whiteout actually, because I think that might be better. And I was gonna mark the holes right there for me to drill through. And I'm gonna drill through. Um, I'm actually so nervous because I don't want to drip the liquid white on the carpet, first of all. And second of all, I want to make sure that this is absolutely straight because if it's off just a little bit or not centered, I'm going to be so upset. Although actually now that I think of it, I never actually see the pedals when I'm driving. But I just know for a fact that's going to be, that's going to upset me until the end of time. So here we go, wish me luck. Okay, those are, oh, that's not even centered. Huh, that is so weird, even though... Okay, I'm pretty sure that's right, just based off my... Hmm. Okay, I'll shift it over ever so slightly to the right, and hopefully that works. 
And the next step, we drill out those holes. Wish me luck, because this is no turning back now. Okay, I know it's improper technique, but honestly, I just held up the freaking pedal to the thing because I don't want to mess up because obviously you can tell my whiteout marks absolutely suck. So hopefully that means that I did it correctly and that it'll line up properly. So let's mount it up and see how it went. Okay, that looks good enough to me. Now let's throw on the nuts at the back to secure it. Honestly, there's so little space behind the pedal that isn't taken up by this arm, so it's sort of hard to get those nuts on the back, but I think that's okay. Seems snug enough. Let's repeat the process for the brake pedal. For some reason, the brake pedal is actually metal, whereas the clutch pedal is plastic, and I can't get through the metal. That's actually really interesting. Guess I just gotta keep trying. One hour later. Two hours later. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Okay, one down, four more to go. Or three more to go. One eternity later. And just like that, we've got the clutch pedal and the brake pedal in, and they're looking so nice. Keys! Thick boys. All right, next let's move on to the dead pedal. And as you can see, the dead pedal is utterly destroyed in this car. No idea what the hell happened. I'm pretty sure I got it like this. Previous owner must have gone crazy on the dead pedal, but that's one of the reasons I wanted to get the full pedal set so I can cover up this nastiness with a nice piece of thick aluminum. And here is the replacement. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. As with all the other covers, this is a solid piece of aluminum. The quality from Renline, absolutely insane. I'm so happy with this. Oh, except for these little dots that keep falling out. But I think they provided us with five screws. So I had these two up here, these two down here, and then this one up here, this dot fell out. But yeah, so let's go pop this cover on. I guess it's supposed to look like that. I guess we'll just get to screwing it in because it became a self-tappers. So we're just gonna self-tap it in and yeet. So there we go. That's the Renline pedal kit all installed and that's their entire full kit. We got the adjuster plate for the gas pedal to make the gas pedal and the brake pedal just a little bit more in line so heel toe downshifts are a little bit easier. Plus we got these little red extensions for the throttle to make it a little bit closer to the brake pedal just to make it a little bit easier. And last but not least, we got the full pedal kit. Full aluminum, they feel super nice. It's honestly a shame I'm only ever gonna be touching them with my feet. And actually, no one's ever gonna see them also. Sort of a sad part, but they feel super nice. 
Okay, quick break to talk about the pedals. It's been absolutely amazing. I've had them on the car for a few weeks now, and it's basically transformed the car. As I said, just having the gas pedal a little bit closer to me has allowed me to really roll over my ankle and just get that blip so I can properly rev match downshift. Because before, the gas pedal was just way too freaking far away from me, and I didn't have the ankle flexibility to really roll my ankle. And I don't know, it was just so freaking frustrating and I freaking hated driving the car because of it. And as dramatic as that sounds, it's the truth. So having and being able to rev match downshift properly has made the car so much more fun again and I freaking love it. On the other hand, Mikey and Andre drove the car and they freaking hate having the pedals there. I don't know how Andre can roll his ankle enough to get it in like the stock configuration, but he can. And he just, I swear that guy's just an ankle wizard and just got bare flexibility, it's crazy. So Mikey and Andre hated it, but I love it. So my recommendation to you, if you can't roll your ankle enough, definitely get the kit. It's amazing and it feels so good. But if you're like Mikey and Andre and you can roll your ankle properly like a normal human being with ankle flexibility, then you can probably skip on the kit. The aluminum is nice, but it's not like worth getting the whole thing for, so probably skip. That's my two cents on the kit. It's amazing, I freaking love it. It's a cool kit, it also comes for the Porsche 911s. Can't comment on that because I don't have a 911, but wish I did. That's gonna be the end of this break. Let's get back to the outro. And so I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. Oh my gosh, it's so late just to drill everything in and make sure everything's super lined up because I'm a little bit OCD like that, but I think it came out super nice. I'm so excited for the track tomorrow. Oh my gosh, it's so late and we did so much this week. We had our last track day Sunday, and then Monday we did the tires, Tuesday we did the brakes, Wednesday, well I guess Wednesday was part two of doing the brakes because it took so long, and then Thursday we're doing the pedals. Tomorrow we have an awesome track day ahead of us, I'm super excited. I should probably get to sleep now because we got a big ass day ahead of us, but thank you so much for watching. Catch you guys in the next one where we put the whole new setup to the test on the track.